people welcome back to some more fake on friday and no your eyes do not deceive you yes today we are looking at two fake cards two link monsters they are both made by a guy on Yu-Gi-Oh cardmaker.net but going by the name of zuzuma so let's go ahead and look at the first card so the first card is dark jester of content it is a dark fiend link effect monster with 2500 attack and he is generic made with three link monsters and his link markers are interesting so he points top left top right and down bottom so you would only open up one for yourself but two for your opponent so his effect must be pretty good to warrant just opening up two for your opponent am i right so uh let's go ahead and look at the effect so the effect reads once per turn you can target one monster at this card's link point equip it to this card so that is pretty much exchange so while you do open up two link monster your opponent that is two link points that he's putting to on your opponent's side of the field so once per turn you can go ahead and if your opponent has a monster in that link point you can go ahead and snatch it up of course uh pointing down as well you can go ahead and equip your own monster as well but just the fact that you can just be like all right kind of like a pseudo one-on-one -on -one effect snatch their uh monster up is pretty good all right next effect is if this card attacks a defense position monster inflict pierce damage to your opponent so of course if your opponent has a monster that can't be destroyed by battle at least you can take the damage but uh yeah all right so he gets piercing damage uh and that has to go in tandem with his next effect which reads once per turn if this card attacks and inflicts battle damage to your opponent you can send one equipped card equipped to this card to the graveyard this card can make a second attack in a row so that's pretty much the gist of it so you pretty much snatch up one of your opponent's monster or you know equip your own thing uh attack you inflict the pure damage you inflict the damage go ahead and get rid of that equip and then you can make a second attack in a row so uh that's pretty much it for this card overall it's a pretty interesting card i like how generally would be like no i don't want to give my opponent link you know link points but this card's like hey some your opponent has a monster link points snatch him up kind of like a pseudo one on effect um Similar to 101, I think it would have been awesome if you get to go ahead and protect yourself from being destroyed by a battle or by a card effect by just getting rid of the equip and does not have that protection. I think that could possibly be added on. Uh, keep in mind that this does take three monsters to create one, so you are going to net two. So, uh, like I said, all the effects are fine, but if you could just go ahead and slap it on that if this card be destroyed by a battle by a card effect, you can go ahead and remove equip as well. And then also put that, you might want to put that you can only have one equip on this monster at a time. That way you can't just keep on snatching up and keep equipping and then remove. And then uh, I know that the whole uh, attacking uh, a second time is only once per turn, but still, you know, you should probably put that you can only have one monster equipped there. So that's just a suggestion. All right, let's go ahead and look at the second card that we're looking at here for this episode of Fake on Friday, made by the same exact person, same exact person. So this is Spell Maiden Yukino. So she is an Earth Spellcaster Link Effect Monster with 1700 attack and of course no defense because of course you don't have any defense. She is linked to and she is generic, made with just two monsters. Her link markers point bottom left and bottom right. So if you put her in your extra deck spot, she opens up two for you, none for your opponent. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the effect. So you cannot link summon this card except during the turn you activate a spell card. That hurts, that hurts. I get she's the spell maiden. So not only do you have to take two monsters and make it a one, so that's a neck one, but then also you got to activate a spell card. You have to activate, which usually wouldn't be too difficult. Like I said, it depends on the spell card you activate, but if it's not a spell card that can possibly give you a good benefit maybe an even out that might be an additional neg added on top of it you know for example if we activate a card that just kind of just doesn't plus us or anything then we're technically using three resources for this card but if you can activate things like Rogeki, dark hole kaiju slumber you know upstart goblin there's plenty of great spell cards you can just activate to not make this hit as bad so hopefully uh, her effect definitely makes up for the fact that only you only need to take two monsters to make into this. But I'll send that a spell card activate this turn as well, which can really restrict it. Uh, once per turn, you can discard one spell card. Plus summon one monster from your hand or graveyard to this card link point. All right, now that effect right there is really good. Really, really, really good. So uh, you even out, you know, you're not plussing, you know. Uh, and I'm concerning from the graveyard. If you're just summoning from the hand, then you're negging because you're pitching from the hand to summon from the hand. It's just same resource, you're negging. 
But if you can go ahead and pitch a spell card to summon a monster in the graveyard, one from your hand, one from your graveyard, that's even out. And of course, it is a pseudo monster born. There really is no restriction to what monster you can go ahead and target and summon from the graveyard. So that effect is actually pretty good. Pretty good. And then last effect, this card gains 100 attack for each spell card in your graveyard. Uh, depending on how many spell cards you play, that could be a lot. That could be a lot. You know, if I'm playing Missy Spell Books, all of them spell books, you know, and this card gains 100 attack for each. That's actually, this card could get pretty beefy, pretty beefy indeed. And of course, there's plenty of spell cards for me to activate and pitch. So in spell books, this card would be really great. Overall, I think this card is actually really, really good. Uh, kind of reminds me of Summoner Monk, where, you know, Summoner Monk, I pitch a spell to summon the monster from my deck, even out. This, I pitch a spell to summon the monster from my graveyard, but I'm still even out and still very powerful. And you can actually go summon a monk into this. Summon a monk, pitch a spell, summon another monster. Both those monsters link into this, pitch another spell, uh, and then go ahead and summon. But of course, you need to have a spell activated that turn uh, that you did that play. So overall, these cards are both really great, re really great, really well-made cards. Uh, if these were actually real cards, I'd be totally fine with Konami making these cards because they're both really well-made. As if uh, uh, Zizuma here uh, definitely knows what he's working with. This is definitely not his first uh, fake card making definitely not so anyway i hope that you guys enjoy this fake card friday this double fake card friday so uh if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button subscribe button bell for notifications of course i'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu Gi Oh related content some more like i said duel. so thanks so much and thanks for all the support i really do appreciate it i know the channel has been kind of slow kind of quiet kind of stagnant lately but I'm definitely planning on returning to you guys soon. I'm just been really busy. So I hope you guys understand. And thank you guys for all the support and understanding and continuing to support me. I really do appreciate it. All right, people. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for watching.